So I changed the compressor and the filter dryer over here. This is just an experiment in my shop, but um, this was an R600 unit. It needed a compressor. I didn't have an R600 compressor. This unit, you can't even get a compressor for this unit, but I did have a small 134A unit um, that I just wanted to see if I could do it. And um, so far it's successful. Uh, there's my canister 134A. I'm going to charge it to five. You see the 134A, you got, you see the two tens and the zero right there. Uh, two tens, I'm gonna charge it to zero, which is five, about five or six PSI. So a little bit under now. And um, gonna see what's happening, what's gonna happen. But uh, so far, just a little chest freezer. That I'm probably gonna put in my house. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, let me get my hand. But it's starting to frost up right in this area right here. See? I just rubbed my hand. You can see the. I'm not sure, but you, oh yeah, you can see it right there. See, it's frosting up right there. So so far, everything is looking good. Like I said, this is just a little experiment. I'm probably gonna put this in my garage. I need something to put my meat in. But anyway, um, but I made the appropriate comments on the on the tag and stuff. I just got 134A charged and I crossed out the 600, put 134A. But like I said, I don't recommend this. This is just some idea for experiment. Got me a die dryer in there, and I had a whole, uh, I had a compressor. Um, had a compressor that came out of Electrolux that had been sitting around in my shop. It was small. This is the the compressor that came out of it right here. As you can see, uh, well, I'm not gonna take it out of it, but it's about the same size as the one that's in there. If you look over there, see it's about the same size. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But like I said, this is not nothing I recommend. This is just something I did to see what it worked. So far, it's working. All right, y'all take care.